So actually, I think, you know, if you're referring to this like new currency, this new blockchain based currency, mm -hmm. I think, I think this is still in development. They have been running some tests, but, uh, and they are also, you know, kind of, uh, I, I read some news about this that, uh, you know, they're basically gonna, you know, use this new currency to like give people some sort of money and just try it out to kind of even like support the consumption within the city. But it's not really that like now everything else is banned, right? Like you can still use cash, even though nobody really uses it, but you can still use it. If you, if you go to the store or if you go taxi driver, you can still give him cash. Everybody will look at you in a weird way. That's pretty funny actually, because, you know, five years ago when I came to China for the first time, like cash was king. And, uh, you know, WeChat Pay was just kind of getting started and Alipay was getting started. And so everybody was paying cash and everybody was carrying this 100 RMB uh, banknotes. But now when you, when you, when you pull, up, pull up a cash or banknote, everybody like thinks that you're a weirdo, complete weirdo, but people still accept it, right? Uh, of course, you know, you know, you use WeChat, you use Alipay for everything. So, so honestly, I haven't probably carried wallets uh, on me for maybe two years now. Like I only have my mobile phone and uh, everywhere I go, it's basically just scanning a QR code, paying in a restaurant, or they scan your QR code. You can pay with Alipay for your meal for anything, right? You send all the money most of the time on WeChat. Yes, you may pay for rent using your credit card or your card, just transfer, you know, bank account to bank account. But usually people still, you know, use WeChat for everything literally everything. If you want to, you know, like, for example, like a mobile phone number, like, you know, you just pay for it with WeChat, you get a notification, hey, your plan is running out, you need to you need to put more money in and you just do it with one click and it's done. You know, you don't have to go to banking, you don't have to do any. Currency, I think it's still kind of under development, they're doing some testing. And, uh, you know, I honestly haven't used it. I don't have it on my phone. So I cannot really speak for myself from my own experience about this. But yeah, people have been kind of discussing, you know, what it actually is, what it's going to mean, you know, how people can use it. Is it going to be any different? But, uh, but yeah, it's still not really accepted or it's still not out there fully.